All right, well, I'm here with this guy. We're about to try to find our first milk snakes of the trip. We got two weeks to drive around the US looking for milk snakes, and we're gonna start right here. <laughs> Comparatively, this is my backyard, even though we're a couple Relative. hours from home. Relatively, maybe. Relative to the size of this trip, we are still in Noah's backyard. Yeah, what Graham said, but we're gonna try to find our first snakes of the trip okay. today and some pretty good mud, mud snake. It's a pretty good milk snake habitat, so we'll see what we can get into. Under under one of these, surely, right? Yeah. Surely, a ring neck. Snake. We snaked. Wow, he is large. Well, that is a pretty monumental breakthrough. Snake number one of our trip. All right, y'all. I'm sure that's not going to be the only ring neck we see this trip. This place isn't just covered in ring necks, so it's possible we won't see any more, but I will let him go back under his rock. <laughs> I, uh, herp with you. Oh, milk, milk! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! We're on the board! And the milk snakes just kept coming. We found a total of five in less than an hour or so while walking a very nice hillside in North Georgia. And unfortunately, we ran out of light not too long after that and decided to attempt to road cruise to end our first day. Microphone. Nice. All right, we're getting ready to cruise. Hey, you, you guys- What up, dogs? You guys got some up dog on your face. <laughs> All right, y'all, we didn't see anything cruising, so we're getting dinner now. I'm eating a lettuce sandwich with a little bit of chicken on it. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go get a hotel and get up in the morning. I didn't want tomatoes. You got tomatoes. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna wake up in the morning <laughs> in Tennessee and hopefully find some milk snakes in Tennessee. So I will see you guys then. All right, everyone, it is the next day and we are out here with Alec and Graham doing a little bit of rock flipping here in Tennessee. So hopefully we can find some snakes and uh, in a perfect world, we'll find our first Tennessee milk snake of the trip. There's a nice red toad as the uh, next find of the day. Still no snake shed. It's gonna get pretty hot today, so this is not a great omen, but we're gonna keep at it. Hopefully things will turn around. But there's going to be something. Oh, a racer. Hello. Okay, get that next piece. I, just don't I, I got him. Alright guys, well there is our first snake of the day. Kind of surprisingly, it's not a little fossorial thing. It's a big northern black racer here in Tennessee. We'll put him back under his tin. Got a little bit beat up on the face, but other than that, it's a healthy snake. Do they have like a different profile to the heads than the southern blacks do? I feel like yeah, it's a little, it's a noticeably longer... different. Are you everybody good with him? Yeah, I'm happy. You wanna... That was a cool flip. Yeah, I, I thought like it was a black racers. king for Akka. Come on, man. <laughs> Go like under your you tent. They, they like, Alright, well, we're on the board for the day. Alec just flipped what'll probably, hopefully, not be our only black king of the day, but our first black king at least. Nice looking little juvenile. Tell me when you're ready. Keep going. Alec just found a blue narrow mouth. He's kind of like steely blue. Look at that guy. Hey, look, an earth snake. A very small, very cute little smooth earth. Nice addition to the tally. Well, that's pretty cool. That is my lifer streamside salamander eating a tadpole. It's a larvae, um, so not quite as satisfying as seeing an adult, but look at that thing. He's, he's actively eating a tadpole. How cool is that? Well, it's not a milk snake, but look at that thing. That is a beautiful cave salamander under a rock. Look at that guy. Ugh. All right, we'll put this guy back under his rock. All right, Alec just flipped a little worm snake. Nothing to write home about, but yet another species for the diversity of the day. I'm sure we're going to be seeing plenty of worm snakes on this trip, but uh, this is a Midwestern, just like we get at home. Yeah, there's another smooth earth. Very nice. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. We got an Eastern box turtle on the road. That thing is awesome. All right, dude, first herp of the day. Let's get you out of the road. And uh, we're gonna go try to find somewhere that's just not quite this rainy right now. All right, everyone, we are back in Tennessee looking for our Tennessee milk snake. We haven't seen one yet, or just to see some snakes. We can always come back to Tennessee at a later point if we need to, to try to get a milk. But uh, yeah, we're gonna hit the rocks and hopefully we'll find some snakes. Hey, Callie. You gonna find some snakes? Oh. She's got Hi. allergies. Callergies? Callergies. Hi, yeah. Allergies. All right, let's go find some snakes, okay? <laughs> Alec just flipped the biggest narrow mouth ever. <laughs> Look at his feet. That is incredible. What a unit. Look at that. Oh, uh, that's the look of a dog that just saw a milk snake, if I've ever seen one. Well, there is our Tennessee milk snake. This guy has a meal in him. You can see he's a little distended there, so we're gonna make our uh, time with this guy brief. But yeah, that's fantastic. Hopefully we can find a couple today. Milk snake sniff. She's like, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Tennessee milk snake number one, back to his rock. All right, well there is a racer Alec flipped right beside where the milk was. Kind of deep in shed, looks like he might be about to come out of shed, but these guys have been pretty abundant on this trip so far, and I don't think they're going to get any less abundant as we continue moving west, so we'll let him go back under his rock. There's a pretty lady, nice little eastern fence lizard, very, very common, but I figured I would show one. Here you go. <laughs> go on, go on, you're free. crazy how fast they are when they finally decide they want to move. <laughs> There's fence lizards everywhere in this There's so many lizards. Black King. Black King. Yep. A good one too. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is a ridiculously awesome snake. Look at him. Beautiful adult black king snake, small adult. Got a king and a milk today. How's that for a black king snake? Look at that. I mean, they're never not nice, but that's just, uh, it's one of the darker ones I've seen. Barely any pattern. All right, back to your concrete pile. What a beauty. Hopefully we're gonna be seeing many more of these and uh, speckled king snakes too over the next couple of days, but I think that's the best one yet. There you go, bud. Oh, Alec just flipped a really nice little baby black king. Look at that. And for those of you who aren't familiar, you can differentiate this from an Eastern King, not only from where you're at, but also the band count. This thing has significantly more bands than a uh, hatchling Eastern King snake of similar size would have. Also a hatchling Eastern King would be twice that big. But uh, King snakes and a lot of other snakes actually undergo what is known as an ontogenetic color change, where when this guy grows up, he will kind of transition gradually into that solid black like the snake we found earlier. So. Kind of cool little bit of natural history about king snakes, specifically black king snakes, eastern king snakes. Definitely change a little bit, but it's not quite as dramatic. Wow, he took the he took the vegetation with him. It's not as dramatic with eastern kings, but some of the the localities of king snake will hatch out with cool red bands, and then those will turn into wide bands as they grow up. Tally, how you doing? How you feeling? Good. I'll sniff some king snake musk. Can you shake? Shake? She knows how to shake. She just won't. Nah, dude. 
Hey, I just flipped a water snake. Are these Midlands or Northerns? Um, we're on the Intergrade zone. Oh, okay. So I think they're Midlands though. We're kind of near where the Midland and uh, Northern subspecies Intergrade. Well, that's a new species for the trip. Come here, buddy. He's kind of different looking. It's very different looking than the ones we see at home. Well, I found where the water snakes live. There were two under this rock. One of them went out the back though. That's a little guy. All right, here's these guys. Put them back right here and let them go under this rock. He's got a cool belly. Let's see. That was a little bit pink. There you go. All right, Alex spotted a racer basking. I have not seen him yet. Oh yeah, he's in a cool spot. Look at that. All right guys, Graham has found a rat snake in a tire. Come over on this side, you can see her better. Well, I was just gonna pull her out. That's cool with you. Oh yeah, man? Yeah, do it. Wow, she's big. Dang, whoa. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? All right, well, that is a very cool snake. Um, we were just talking earlier about how it'd be nice to see a rat snake today, and then Graham turned this girl up inside that tire. We flipped tons of beautiful rocks today. Plenty of them are big enough to have a rat snake under them, and the only rat of the day is under a tire. But very deep in shed, so no photos with this girl. We'll just put her back and maybe call it a day here soon. We had not much sleep last night, and we're going to have a big day tomorrow, so. Not much is another sleep. Yeah. More like no sleep. Exactly. No <laughs> real sleep. We closed our eyes and stared at the inside of our eyelids in a 99% humidity car for about 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it was not good. All right. Everyone good? Yeah, I'm happy. All right, rat girl. This confused rat. She smells... Wow, man. Snakes are so cool. Yeah, she knows where she's at. Did you have a good day, pup? Did you enjoy the herping? You want to smell rat snake musk? She's like, ooh, that is fragrant. <laughs> On a scale from milk snake to king snake, it's straight about a six. That's one of the grossest things she's probably ever smelled. All right, guys, we're on the way back to the car, and I found this giant racer in the grass. This thing's like, it's pretty big, like four feet maybe. But uh, he's got a little bit of a little bit of crust going on there up front, but otherwise, very very healthy. This thing is super girthy for a racer. But we're just gonna let her continue with her day. We'll see where she goes. She's scared. Oh, through Alex's legs. Man, we just keep finding stuff. There's a box turtle. Second one of the day. The first one was like first thing this morning. And we're going to end the day on the box turtle too. That's a good way to do it in my opinion. We'll just leave that handsome dude right there. And it is coming down out there. Alright, I'll see you guys in the morning.